I'm Paul Peter Coyote, coming to you from Crestone, Colorado. Allow your heart to move you. Great things can be accomplished, even when you're a whacked out, stoned up hippie freak. So beautiful. I just started learning how to look into someone's eyes. And it was always a hard thing for me to do, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love my life, I love my life, I love my life, I love my life. Screw what society tells you. Sorry. <laughs> this wonders of life that awaits you to explore all the magic and it's unbelievable. The colors and the smells and oh my god. It gets hard to distinguish. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's absolutely true. It gets hard to distinguish the difference between where your legs and where your feet ends and where the board starts. You become this one unit. That's the amazing thing, is you feel totally connected. If we become disconnected from the natural world, we lose something magical, something so precious. We lose part of what it means to be human. We protect what we love. You gotta grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> and that's about what it's like sometimes if you lived a life like mine. But you just gotta just claim it. It's yours. Just hundreds of souls united in play. Mama? What? I love you. I love you too. I love you more. <laughs> But the thing about children is, they already get it. They naturally think in terms of things they want. And they naturally believe that anything is possible. It's incredible. To be a mother seems to mean something different every day. <laughs> when I'm lucky, being a mom means the same thing as being a child. Playing, imagining, free from worry and fear. It's beautiful. <laughs> of course, there are times when being a mother means disciplining. <laughs> I think that the most interesting challenge that I face as a mother is how to balance allowing my child to be a free spirit with teaching her how to behave. <laughs> I mean, call me crazy, but I don't care if she plays with her food or blows bubbles into her drink with a straw. <laughs> She's a child. Um, you hear that in parenthood we have to pick our battles, and I feel like I choose to pick very few battles. <laughs> I'm often told that I have too much patience with Josie, but I'm confident that she's going to do great things, and that's what she really needs anyway. Someone to believe in her and all that she's capable of. My favorite things about being a mother are watching her grow and learn every day and being the one to encourage and inspire her creativity. Also, just hearing the cute little things that she says, like, yesterday we were driving around looking at Christmas lights and I told her, whoops, we might be a little bit lost, Josie. And uh, without skipping a beat, she said, Mom, would you please put on the GBS? And, you know, of course I giggled and her next question was, why do you laugh when I ask you to put on the GBS? And uh, it's little moments like that that I realize how careful I really have to be that you know me giggling at her here and there can really you know affect her I heard at a conference once that everything that a child from birth to five years old hears, sees, or perceives in any way 
goes straight to their subconscious mind. So, um, yeah, I just, I realize how careful I really have to be. I was pregnant with Josie the first time I ever learned the significance of the subconscious mind. And at that point in my life, I had a lot of reprogramming to do to reverse my own ways of thinking. And there was a huge sense of urgency because I was going to be carrying a child for nine months. I needed my body to be as healthy and stress-free as possible. Not only that, but I thought about how important it was for me to learn to control my thoughts so that I could teach my child. I really made it a priority to plant wholesome, positive thoughts as often as I could, and my pregnancy was the first situation where I intentionally used the power of positivity. Once she was born, I continued, and as she would fall asleep every night, I would repeat positive affirmations to her, like, Josie's smart, Josie's sweet, Josie's beautiful, Josie's a good girl. And now that she's almost four years old, I remind her before bed to tell herself all of the wonderful things that she is and wants to be. And she does, and she's so funny. She likes to add in words like sparkly. <laughs> but the thing about children is they already get it. They naturally think in terms of things they want. And they naturally believe that anything is possible. It's incredible. Understand the concept of love. Understand the concept of love. Na, 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 na.